the Joe Rogan experience. This message, is this something that you have sort of developed over the years of arguing with people about it? No, it's mostly from uh, what we did at Whole Foods, because I had no background in business, right? I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. I didn't. You guys I, started here, right? In Austin, that's right. I first store here 40, over 42 years ago now. Jesus, you look great. <laughs> How old are you? 67. You look very good. Well, thank you. I'll tell you right now. See, look, win, win, win. We're well. a win-win relationship. You're eating there. all that Whole Foods food. I'm eating all that healthy Whole Foods. That is one thing that you guys did do that's very interesting, right? You created a market where, like, if you tell people, I go to Whole Foods, you know, so people are like, oh, well, you care about your health. Like, you're, it's synonymous with healthy foods, even in the name, yeah. Whole Foods. That was our brand when we were up and comer, and then when we got really rich, uh, America loves the up and comer. But mm -hmm. then once you have become really successful and you're making a lot of money, they start to turn on you. Oh no! Well, we became whole paycheck. Who wrote, so, who said that? I don't know, but whoever did, I wish they. I never you know, saw it. I you, never saw that until right now. You just shit on yourself in a way that I never. <laughs> all I heard was Whole Foods. I never heard whole paycheck. I uh, mean, you, you, your team didn't do good research. Ah, I have no team. <laughs> so is this when you sold to Amazon? No, no. The whole paycheck thing has been around for a long time. Oh, because uh, whole paycheck meaning because it's so expensive. Yes, because initially when we were up and comer, you if you shop at Whole Foods, you were showing everybody you were sort of, you were with it. Environmentally conscious. Yes, and, and you were hip and cool. Right. And then the narrative went sour because it's like... Um, it, you're a fool for shopping there because you can get the same food cheaper elsewhere. So you're going to mm. whole paycheck. So the narrative turned uh, negative, so to speak. Mm. I still see that pretty much all the time. Although since our merger with Amazon, we've cut our prices many, many times. How'd you do that? Amazon allowed Whole Foods to think long term again. We needed to cut our prices. But when you're a public company, if you're selling something for a dollar and you say, you know what, we need to sell this for 90 cents and you start selling it for 90 cents. In the short run, you just cut your sales 10% because you're not selling any more of it. Over the long term, people will realize, man, I can get a good deal for 90 cents. I used to pay a buck for it. And they start to shop with you more and, and your, your sales will go up. Mm. But when you're a public company and the market's very short-term oriented, you pay a heavy price in the short term for reducing your prices. And Amazon is willing to think long term and let Whole Foods do that. Because Jeff Bezos got that long money, son. He has long money because he's had <laughs> he's had a lot of brilliant ideas and put together a pretty pretty good team. Yeah, I, what keeps that guy working when you when you have 150 in the bank, 150 billion? What keeps you going? Well, most of it he has it in doesn't have it in the bank. He's got it in probably stock. Got a few in the bank. He's got a few in the bank probably. I feel like he could probably relax. I mean, I think I, I think the same thing that keeps me going at age 67. I mean. Uh, Building something's great fun. Uh, building Whole Foods, I don't, I mean, I've got plenty of money, Joe. I don't need to work. I just like it. It's Do you fun. still run Whole Foods? Like, what's your relationship there? Still CEO. Still CEO. Mm -hmm. So you still work long hours? I don't work as long today as I did when I was in my 20s and 30s. There's no question about it because I was putting a lot of 80 hour weeks in year Jeez. after year after year after year. Well, you're building something. You know, it wasn't work, it was play. Yeah. I was having a blast. It was fun. Elon Musk has famously said that if you're in a tech startup and you're not working 120-hour weeks, you won't succeed. Yeah. I've never been in a tech startup, so I can't speak for that. The grocery business wasn't quite that hard, but we did put a lot of 80-hour weeks in. That seems like not a lot of time to sleep. And I'm a great believer in sleep. <laughs> sleep is how you... Like, how many hours are left? How many hours are in a week? Well, let's see. There's 24 hours, 168 hours a week. Hundred and sixty. So he's only hours got forty eight hours to sleep. That is ridiculous, Elon. So How that's dare uh, you? well that, I don't know. If you all you did was that's forty eight hours divided by seven, that's almost seven hours a night. If all you did was work and sleep, I don't know when he eats. Maybe you have to eat when you're working. You definitely working. have to eat. I would, I would recommend working. eating. And you, you got to go to the bathroom sometime. You got to yeah. scratch that out. So you sleep seven hours a night and just stay at work. Yeah, I I don't actually think I, you have to put a lot of energy in to build anything. Yes. But um, if you're doing it right, we talk a lot about conscious capitalism is about higher purpose. If you have a purpose that's animating you, it doesn't feel like work. It feels like play. It also attracts people to you that share that same purpose. This is something that I find very frustrating in people that don't recognize that it is incredibly difficult to build a successful business when they just want to tax the shit out of people and take all that money. Like. Do you think it's easy to make something like Whole Foods? Do you think it's easy to make a company like Tesla? 
do you think it's it's not easy it's an insanely difficult task that's why most people don't do it exactly but when someone does do it and they have become successful then other people start looking at it and go well they have all this money they should contribute more or they should do this or you know you're talking about uh some people have uh, suggested some extraordinary tax rates in order to get us out of this current recession and uh uh, then I talk to business people and they say that is the exact wrong approach because that's actually going to stifle business and business is the only thing that's going to bring us out of this. If you incentivize businesses to take risks and to be open and to make more profits, then more people are going to get jobs, then the economy bounces back. But if you give them a gigantic tax burden, they're going to be less likely to take chances. They're not going to be able to survive. And, and people... On the outside, who've never built a business like Whole Foods, they don't seem to see that. They don't see it. Um, the reality is, is that people like an Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos, um, they are, they're good capital allocators, so to speak. They're not going to waste that money. That money's going to be reinvested to create new and more dynamic businesses that will help in, the innovations will help our society move forward. When you just redistribute that money, it, there's no more additional innovation. It's just, it's just it's being consumed. This whole idea that it's consumption that drives the economy is fundamentally a, a myth. It's mostly creativity and innovation that drives the economy. So we need to keep that money in the hands of our most creative people, which are entrepreneurs, the creative business people. And uh, for some reason, I probably, I think because of envy, it seems so unfair. Again, we are in a win-lose model. If Jeff Bezos has $150 billion, then that's unfair. In some sort of cosmic way, that's unfair. And they believe that somehow or another, others have less. So there's like this fixed pie, and Jeff took a big piece of it, or, mm. or, or, or Elon Musk has taken a big piece of it. But it's not a fixed pie. That's the wrong metaphor. Innovationism is continually growing the pie. And in fact, humanity is demonstrably better off because of the capitalists, because of the innovationists. Let me play devil's advocate, because this is the way they look at it. They would say, well, when you get to that sort of a position, like a Jeff Bezos, where you have $150 billion, you can exert your influence on people in a way that's detrimental to society. You've achieved too high of a position. You have too much power. And you will probably lose, use that power to loosen regulations to bribe politicians or influence politicians and to get laws passed that are better for your business and stifle competition. I think that's a powerful argument. And if and when it happens, you have to push back against, you have to resist it. I think most business people are not doing that. I think, I don't see that Jeff's trying to pass or, you know, I, or I don't see Mo, I don't see Jeff trying to pass laws that no, I don't favor think he is Amazon. Either. I'm I not think, saying he is. If he yeah. was, boy, would they come after him? Yeah, because he's balling so hard. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, that motherfucker. He is, doesn't have enough. But I know that before when Whole Foods was, we were a public company for 25 years, and we we had the government go after us a few times uh, for. Well, they tried to stop our. We tried to make an acquisition of a of a company called Wild Oats back in 2007. We actually made the acquisition, but the FTC tried to stop it. We ended up going into court with them, and we actually won in court. And very interesting, the FTC has their own court. And they, after we won in the federal courts, they said, well, now we want to take you into the, our court, the administrative oh, court. Oh, terrific. They have the, their own court? They have their own court. Don't you wish you had your own court? Uh, take you to Whole Foods Court, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll take the FTC dun, to the Whole Foods dun, Court. Right? But, you know. Like the people's court. You don't win in the FTC court. You don't win in that court. So. Well, how many people have won in that court? I think when I looked Zero? at it at that time, this back in 2007, I think 46 of the 48 previous cases, this is from memory, so I could be wrong, had lost. They should go to court. So Someone should take them to but court. But here's the thing. I asked our attorney, so, okay, we're going to lose in this court, in their court. Then what happens? This is, well, then you appeal that back to the federal courts. And, and then after that, if they want to, they would go to the Supreme Court if they'll take it. I said, how much is it going to cost me to just fight them in their own courts? They said, it's going to cost you $30 million in legal fees, not to mention a lot of executive time. It's like, oh. man, $30 million and we know we're going to lose. And then we're going to have to spend another $30 million to go to the appeals of beyond that. The lawyers love it, by the way. Of they, course. They want you to do it. Like divorce lawyers. Yes, exactly. They let's, love it. Let's have people fight. You with guys should not 
talk. <laughs> don't talk this. Don't out. try to work this yeah. out because he's no, going to no, try to no. you don't try to mediation. steal your money. He's going to yeah. try to steal that money. He's from a you. piece of shit. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> um, so again, so what did you do? You wound up settling. We ended up yes. We ended up. They let the merger go through, and we agreed to sell off a bunch of stores. Oh, and that was that was the best we could do. How many stores do you have to sell off? Uh, we we put up about thirty for sale. I and think we, and that we, and we we only about. About, I don't know, I think five or six. We sold about five or six. Episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience are now free on Spotify. That's right, they're free from September 1st to December 1st. They're going to be available everywhere, but after December 1st, they will only be available on Spotify, but they will be free. That includes the video. The video will also be there, it'll also be free. That's all we're asking. Just go download Spotify. Much love. Bye bye. Mm.